I became a detective today, folks, and I'm on a case to solve a mystery of missing hats. Be sure to like the video to show how much you want me to solve this beautiful mystery. Let's say 5,000 likes, maybe? I don't know. Please, 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 I beg of you. But let's get to the video! I staring at? I don't know what you're looking at. I just thought, it looked, okay, so I saw this cane being You played, bought like, it. What? You bought it. I know, but I'm, I'm literally explaining why I bought it. I saw other YouTubers playing it. I was like, oh, this looks fun. And then I'm looking at this guy kind of T-pose a little over us. So, but we're gonna you play crap. it. Frog Detective 3, Trouble at uh, something county. Okay, there is humans. Human-ish. I can't find can't your find notebook. I can't find your notebook in my records. Could you please remind me of what it looks like? Probably a book. Oh, oh. decorate your notebook, brother. Oh, of course. Is there anything sun-related? Oh, like, that's an alien. Um, sunflower, I guess. Bruh. Sure. And, um... Uh, There's a sun. Where's the sun? Below the worm. Yeah. Nice. I'll put you next to me. I, well, I'm not, that's not really you, but that's the, probably the closer we're gonna get. Look at that little face. So bright and innocent, unlike some people, but still. Put a cactus on there. Okay, hold on, hold on. Perfect placement. Why'd you give yourself stilettos? Do you want to, really? You're asking why I got why I have stilettos? Yes. Don't touch me. Did you buy stilettos? I love this notebook. All right. Oh, Mary. You hey, a rhino? It's, it's Mary. Remember, it is a rhino, obviously, brother. You know, don't, don't, don't be judgmental. I know it's been a while, so I thought I'd give you a quick recap. After that, I'm detective, gonna grab their horn and yank it. Are you in line with poachers, brother? No. Then shut up. I'm not taking it off. Okay. After the detective, that's you, solved the case of the invisible wizard, a mysterious phone call came in. Well, it wasn't that mysterious. It was the supervisor, as usual. But the content of the phone call were mysterious, you know? Okay, so let's let's set the scene. I'm a good actress, and I'll be exactly like what happened. Oh, of course, of course. <gasps> Look at how much fun we're having on a, a train train thing. I'm getting down funky. Oh, let's see what this phone call is, though. Oh, my gosh. It's me, the frog detective. Hey, gorgeous. I'm the supervisor. I'm kind of like your boss, but not officially. Oh, my gosh. I know it's so hard to describe our professional relationship, but you're like a helper of sorts. Yes, exactly. Like a manager, almost. Yeah. This is this doesn't feel like this feels weird. OK, so I have a new mystery for you. Can you even believe it? Yes. Haha. <laughs> it's my job to solve mysteries. That's true. <laughs> Obviously, I was being very dramatic. Classic supervisor. Okay, so what's the case about not saying that word? Babe? Does it make you feel awkward? When it's referring to you voicing the other character, yeah? Yeah, all right. I love your enthusiasm, but it's actually really sensitive, so I can't tell you on the phone. Oh, boo. I know, bummer. Makes it so much more exciting, though. For sure, yeah. Can you do me a huge favor? <laughs> Lovely. Yeah. Grab your magnifying glass next to the door and head to the train station. There's a ticket for you in there and it'll take you on your little trip. Cool. Okay. You really don't want to say anything <laughs> platonical. Nope. Okay, I'll talk to you soon. <laughs> Thanks. Later. All right. Let's take our handy dandy notebook Actually, here. you know what? Allow me to uh, re-express. Thanks. Later. Of course. Of course. Oh, magnifying glass. Cannot forget that. Sick. Now I can solve the case. I'm the frog detective. Got your magnifying glass. Yay. What is this? Is this, is this really all it does? Perfect. Yep. Okay. Now I go outside. The detective heads to the train station and it's all cool. Like there's a new color scheme and stuff. But can you believe it? Someone literally takes the detective's book. It's so messed up. What is wrong with that person's hand? Do they have six? Where's their thumb? Do they have six fingers? I don't know. Are they Actually, Stanley Pines? From, from Gravity Falls? Yeah. Course. Actually, tears tears in my eyes. Seriously, I don't think the detective knows about the stolen notebook yet. So you're actually up to date now. Bruh. Please, if you could leave a review of my acting skills, it's super appreciated. Okay, enjoy the case. I don't like it. You certainly tried. Not sure if the acting feels ready for you yet, but uh. Oh. Chaka 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 choo 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 choo. Who is the conductor? Is that a worm? It's a worm. That's a snake. Are we in some sort of count? Are we in like like a what is it? Welcome to the West. Bye. Bye. Hey, brother. I, uh... Look to the right. There's a path. Okay, path there. Um... A scooter. Who leaves their scooter? Hello, this is Frog Detective from Frog Detective Criminal Crime Solving Agency speaking. How may I help you? Why'd you answer the phone like that? What's that supposed to mean, Supervisor? This is a random phone on the street. Why'd you assume it's ringing for you? Am I? I'm the only one here. I don't think it's a little weird. No, 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 no. Not really. You're the one making a phone call to a random phone. Because I knew you'd be there. Now, who's the weird one? Regardless, 
I'm glad you picked up. I'm sure you're curious about this mystery. I sure am. Give me the details. Give me the deets, please. I cannot. What? Someone may be listening. But, 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 but then why are you call Who? I saw on the internet that's possible for strangers to listen to phone calls. Who, who said that? My cousin wrote all about it on his blog. Oh, oh my god, you're an idiot. Well, if you're not going to tell me the details, why did you call? I have a special surprise for you. <gasps> As you know, the terrain of cowboy country is vast and rough. Cowboy County, brother. Cowboy County. I don't care. I ordered something special from Whiz Bay to help get you around. Oh, is it a horse? What? No. Why would you say that? It's a cowboy town. It's a cowboy town. What do you mean? Cowboys ride horses. Are you being serious? Horses are valuable members of society. It'd be demeaning to ride them around. It's messed up that you would even say that. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, sorry. You're right. I just got confused. Don't worry about it. Uh, what did you order then? A scooter, of course. <laughs> Sick. Should be next to the phone booth. Oh, bold choice to have it shipped to a public phone booth. You know, just... Uh... Stop questioning my choices. Anyway, when you're ready, pick up the scooter and get some practice in. Lobster cop should arrive early and we'll be waiting for you at the town. Oh, all right, perfect. Just follow the path and meet him. Have fun. I hope you have fun too. I will. All right, see. I mean, we could have assumed this. Okay, how, how does it. Do we just. My very own scooter. Sick. I got a scooter. Got a scooter. Hop on with left shift. Oh, oh. it's your sprint. Okay, okay. This is going by. This is really just happening right now, isn't it? Uh, okay, okay. Follow the path down to the cowboy county thing. And, okay, well, that was very quick. Uh, I look so cool riding this scooter, don't I? Da -da 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 -da. <laughs> I look so cool, don't I, brother? You do. I look like I'm gonna take on the world and solve this mystery of You whatever. look like one of those popsicles with the gumball eyes that always melts. Yeah, it's just, I'm not even pushing on the scooter. Starring Lobster Cop. You want to be Lobster Cop? No. Yes. Susie Rabbit. Please be Lobster Cop. Sherman and the Bandits. Sherman and the Bandits. One of them's a sloth. Frog Detective. And that's a special guest. Creepy. Who's the special guest? All right, we are riding our scooter right into town. And I think we're almost there. I hope. Are we, are we there yet? Oh, perfect. Look at that beautiful town, brother. Corruption at Cowboy County. I read that off like it was some Dora the Explorer thing. I just realized. Yep. This is, this is beautiful, brother. I absolutely love this game already. I feel like this would have been a better game for you and Lunar to play together. Maybe. I mean, you can switch out if you want. No. Hey, Lobster Cop. I'm here to solve the mystery. Right on time, detective. I knew you would. <laughs> I'm known worldwide for my timeliness. Is that so? No. Can you tell me about the case, Lobster Cop? I sure can. We've been sent here to solve the conundrum of the sheriffless county. Wait, do they not have a sheriff? Why is that a conundrum? This town was thriving, detective. A marvel of productivity, friendship, community, and cowboys. But there was something missing. A sheriff! Yeah, I was kind of leading up to that. Oh yeah, my bad. For the sake of storytelling, can you please not interrupt? I sincerely apologize there, Lobster Cop. So, anyway, I've lost where I was going with this. Oh, gosh. We're dealing with idiots all day, aren't we? You said there's something missing. Right, there was something missing. A sheriff. Oh, my God. The town had realized that for all those years, they were missing a vital ingredient of cowboy living. They contacted the supervisor, and he contacted me. And me! Anyway, here we are. Be a bit more supportive, your lobster cop. I'm gonna be honest, lobster cop. The supervisor really hyped this case up. Like, it looks like the hiring for a management position? Detective, you read my mind. The supervisor really dropped the ball. Did you really think I'd need your help? No, 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 not really. Me neither. And so it turns out, I didn't need your help. What? What? The position has been filled. Well, the, the, the sheriff position? Oh. I knew the perfect boy for the job. Why do you Presenting. <laughs> Presenting? The new sheriff of Cowboy County, <laughs> Sheriff Mason Mole. What? Wow. Congratulations on such a speedy resolution, Lobster Cop. Thank you. Well, I guess I'll head back to the office then. No. Huh? No, you cannot. Is there something you need help with? Yes. What is it, Sheriff Mason Mole? Mystery, crime mystery. Please solve this. What's what's the what's the mystery? All I have, all hats have been stolen. Y you're wearing a hat. Not my hat. 
Town hats. Could you elaborate? All the hats in town have been stolen. Please solve this mystery as soon as possible. Do you have any leads? No, get to work, please. Well, you heard the sheriff. Okay. Uh, is there really no additional information? No, here is your notebook. I'm sorry? Here. Wait, his hands! He has six fingers. <gasps> You're from He's Gravity a Falls! Petty thief. I'm gonna mail it to you. Got a notebook. I didn't even know it was missing. Not missing. It's right here. Can I ask a question? No, I'm busy. Goodbye. <laughs> busy sheriff, busy life, right? Haha, <laughs> what a legend. You know each other? Sure, but how much you really know someone, right? What? Don't worry about it. Now, detective, as I am the lead investigator of this case, I trust you will follow my guidance. Oh, I didn't know you were the lead! It's a safe assumption to make. Right, of course. I mean, I'm the only detective. But I'm not, I'm not. So I'll be investigating leads, but I could use your assistance. Sure, what do you need? Hmm. I'll handle the motive and the suspects. You handle the crime scene and method. Okay. It'll be an easier task for a rookie like you. I have two games to my name already, but okay. All you'll need to find is a map of the crime scene, a tool capable of aiding criminal activity, a key that could lead us to a clue, and lastly, not to mention most importantly, a meal for the number one best detective. No, of course, lobster, lobster, lobster cop. A, me a meal. Yes, detective. Keep up. I am a very hungry boy and will need sustenance to survive the mystery. To survive the mystery? Bruh. Shut up. I have some sandwiches I will save for afternoon tea. Would you like them? No, I need a proper meal. I hear you loud and clear. I'll make sure to get those for you. If you need to be reminded of what I want, come and see me at the graveyard. Gotcha, we'll do good luck, lobster cop. I don't need it. Good luck, detective. He's saying that we need the luck? Oh, he's gone. Okay. <gasps> A fine specimen. Uh <gasps> Case three, mystery of the missing hats. Lobster cop. Bah. Motive. There's no possible motive for Lobster Cop can do this. Needs. Crime scene, map, criminal tool, me, kill you, meal. Notes. Hey, it's Lobster Cop. Number one best detective. I am very jealous. So tall. Well, I guess I might as well try looking around the place. You, lady. You must know something about this, hmm? Missing hats for your bank business. Okay, I'm done. I'm gonna keep, I'm gonna keep looking around. Brother, mm. any particular ideas as to where to look around first for this ultimate mystery? Well, right behind you looked like a store to get a food, so. Hello there, Bear Barrington. Could I perhaps buy some food off of you? Hmm? 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 Click him. Hmm? Huh? Okay, click it. Wendy! Good afternoon, welcome to Cowboy County General Store. My name is Wendy. We have a wide variety of general goods for purchase. Hi, I'm the detective! Unfortunately, this time we don't stock any gear for detective work. I, I, I don't need anything, but just, uh... Oh, um, please feel free to browse our expensive selection. I'm sure you'll find what you need. No, thank you! We have a wide variety of general goods for purchase. Yes! Do you need specific item that isn't in stock? We possess special orders for no extra cost to the customer. I don't need anything! Special orders have an average two-day turnaround. That's a great turnaround! It is one of our many great policies. Such as? We are proud to offer our customers a satisfaction guarantee on our purchases. What is a satisfaction guarantee? Why am I asking so many questions right now? You're a detective. What happens if I'm dissatisfied? It falls under a satisfaction guarantee. So I can get a refund? A satisfaction guarantee only guarantees a range of satisfaction from dissatisfied to satisfied. Uh, uh, okay. If you're feeling towards the product doesn't fall within the range, you're entitled to a refund. Uh, that clears it up, I guess. Thanks. And anyway, I'm actually going to ask some questions about the case. Why did we spend so long? Unfortunately, we don't have any cases in stock at the moment. The mystery, I mean, of the stolen hats. Stealing is not permitted at Cowboy County General Store. It's not permitted anywhere, really, if I'm being honest. I don't know what you're talking about. To be clear, I am not, I'm not here to purchase, any, any, purchase or steal any items from your store. I'm here on official business to solve the mystery of the stolen hats here in Cowboy County. Right. It would have been that easy for me if you said that in the first place. Oh. I feel like I've spent too much time explaining the policies and values of my store. A bit embarrassing for me, really. Like, maybe in future just tell people what you're here for. Oh, yes, absolutely right. I am not good at communicating quickly. I get up, I get easily sucked up in conversation. I apologize for that. 
it's fine. I just feel a bit self-conscious. Yes. No, no, you did great. You done great. I learned a lot about our, your store policies. I'm glad to hear that. I haven't been easy talking over the shop. Oh, you seem like an old hand. Ha, huh, that's great. I'm not at all. I've only been running the shop for seven months. <gasps> oh, cool. Can I ask you some questions? Uh, d d new job. How's that looking out for you? So you just started running the shop. How's it all going? I wish I could say I'm kneeling, but in all honesty, it doesn't feel like me most of the time. Oh, that's not good at all. The shop has been in my family for generations. I thought in my hands it would be the best it's ever been. But it's just kinda the same. The same is good, at least it's not worse than it was. I suppose you're right. Is there anything that would boost your confidence? Well, there is one thing. And what would that be? Do you see those portraits on the wall? These are portraits? Okay, they're lovely! Every shop owner in my family has had a beautiful portrait created for them. Except for me. Mine is just a silly photo. Wait, do you have a cowboy hat? It's a nice it's photo! It's a nice photo. Where's your... Yeah, sure, but it's not the same. All right, because the hat's got stolen on the side. I haven't got the slightest idea how I'm supposed to get someone to create a beautiful portrait. I don't even know who painted those ones. I have you tried painting one yourself? With what time? And besides, art was never my strong suit. Hmm. Maybe you could paint it for me. Oh, you you don't want us to paint that for you. I, I'll be very honest with you. <laughs> I'm not <laughs> just not a painter. Well, if you find anyone that wants to paint me, can you let me know? How are they supposed to know if they want they want the, they, they want to paint you if they can't see you? Here, take this photo of me. <gasps> okay, kind of weird. <laughs> That's weird. Just carrying around a, around a photo of you on the off chance that I find a painter who can paint a portrait of you? I don't think that's weird. Okay, but uh, I'm sorry. I got a photo now. <laughs> Did they Photoshop that or like? Uh, nothing right now. Have a good day to you, uh, shop owner. <gasps> a photo of Wendy. Wendy. Photo. Motive. Steal the hats and sell them back to the town. The perfect crime. Needs her portrait painted. Notes. Seven months in the business. Rehearsed and formal yet professional and warm. I'm now carrying around a photo of her and nobody thinks that's weird. Especially not me. I got my eye on you, Wendy. Always watching you. Uh. Don't make any noises, Wendy. No. We've literally spent most of the video talking to these, uh, pe- <gasps> Snake. Sneaky snake. What do you got on you, snake? Do you got the cat in your stomach? King what? Cobra thing? Look around a bit more. I think we might be onto something here, Moon. A mystery to solve. There's th there's nothing in this canyon, though, like literally whatsoever. I have an idea, brother. And just hear me out. What if somebody's mailed the hat somewhere else? Oh my, there's, there's snakes and a cow. Speaking of mail, what? this is the mail house. Look around. <laughs> You're right. It's the mail house. How are you so confused by that? <laughs> Listen, that was the most like... obvious thing I could have said. <laughs> I'm going through a lot of things right now, brother. What's in this stupid storage shed? Nothing. Screw you, Sheriff. I suspect you for stealing all the hats. Oh, God. What? Why are there so many scooters? I'll just ride mine for a bit. That was a map. It was in front of that red building. <gasps> oh, here I am. Grave. Oh, what? It... There's a well. The crime scene is the entire town, so there's your map. Hmm. All right. Well, I'm going to- didn't collect to... it. What? Lobster cop needs a map. That's, That's why I mentioned the map. Oh, Click yeah, it. Oh, yeah, mentioned the map. Oh, let's take this map. Got a town map. Perfect. Good is, God. Is the map a witness in some way? It's not a witness. Mysterious more ever so slightly. Okay. We're gonna go check on the well. Maybe the thief, the perpetrator, the man who stole these hats put the wells down into the hats into the well. I can't get down there without a ladder. I'd fall and break my legs and arms and knees and head and nostrils and fingers. So I need a ladder to get down there. Haven't solved Wasn't there a the ladder in the store? Is there a ladder in the store? It was behind Wendy. You mind if I borrow a ladder? Okay, apparently I can't borrow a ladder. You probably get it from getting her a portrait. I'm watching you, Wendy. Wimby Dale. Who do I even go to for the Can you stop T-posing? Whatever it is you do. No. Hello. Hello. Who are you? Hello there. R raccoon, I think? Sloth. Sloth. 
Why are you just uh, you're a bit of a hillbilly up here, living by yourself in the lonesome, up, uh, what lonesome, lonesome wilderness? You look, uh, you look uh, kind of tasty right now. Sloth meat is actually pretty tasty, apparently, in the in the Himalayas of Peru. So we'll find out. Wow, look at Ooh. you! Was that you or him? Well, look at you. Oh, huh? Your jumper, your vacant smile, those piercing eyes. Are you a model? I feel uncomfortable. I am not, though. Maybe it's time to start modeling. Maybe. Or maybe it's time to solve a mystery. Uh-huh. Yeah. Actually, I don't know what you What mean. is missing on top of your head? I'm a detective. Uh. Is there a problem? I don't want any trouble. I am an outlaw, you see. Screw you, Sherman. Sherman. Authority and I don't always see eye to eye. I have no authority at all, eh? You have the authority to steal my heart. I feel incredibly uh -huh. uncomfortable. What? Because of your good looks. I'm gonna stop the video. We're gonna stop the video now. If you want to see more, listen on the comment section down below. We'll see you all next time the Sun and Moon Show. <laughs> sure like bye bye! Oh.